Oh, <laughs> hi, uh, Rich Keeble here, and welcome back to Rich Runs dot dot dot, the popular groundbreaking documentary film series uh, where I run, although uh, not always, <laughs> as we discovered it late. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, hello, if you're a new subscriber, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you're having a lovely Monday morning. Um, it's Sunday evening for me, Monday for you. That's the magic of television. So if you um, watched my last video, you'll see that I had a few Achilles-related issues, which actually um, it turns out they're not as bad as they could have been. But I was still a little bit uh, reluctant to run, and uh, I did start to get in my head a little bit about whether I should run or not, and I got a bit nervous. But before those Achilles issues, I was planning on doing Ben Parks' uh, level four marathon plan, which, um, believe it or not, is for people wanting a goal time of three hours 15 uh, down to two hours 55. And his first week is 55 kilometers. So yeah, when I decided I'd do this plan, I, I was feeling quite confident. I spent, you know, I'd done my Brighton Marathon in 353 in April 2022, and I'd run pretty consistently. I'd got my 5K down to under 20 minutes, uh, as you'll see by my incredibly popular video. But now with these slight inflammation issues, it means that coming into this plan, I haven't run at all. So that's what we're here for. Let's have a little look at how my first week has been so uh the monday yeah supposed to be an easy 10k but because we had a bank holiday uh, neither of my girls were at school or nursery i took them to my mum's which is a little bit knackering uh got back with them late-ish had dinner uh my youngest had fallen asleep on the way home so that meant that she was a bit more hyper uh, when we were in uh, she insisted that we put on our christmas pajamas and I don't know, because we'd walked around a lot the day before, I was kind of a bit nervous. I didn't want to risk, you know, knackering my foot. So that became a rest day, which is exactly what I did on my uh, Brighton Marathon plan a year ago. Sacked off the first run. Takes guts, I think, to do that. But yeah, there we go. Anyway, uh, Tuesday, I thought maybe I'd run uh, this time. But um, I kind of thought, oh, I don't know, maybe I'll leave it, you know, a full three weeks recovery. Um, when I saw the physio on the Wednesday, he'd said maybe another week. And that's, you know, that's nearly a week. So anyway, um, my eldest daughter had left a buffalo toy that she was both obsessed with and yet didn't seem to have noticed she'd left it there. Anyway, I thought, well, I'll get on the bike. I'll just go to my mum's and back and then do a little bit of a loop. And then that will take me up to 20 kilometres. Uh, so I did that um, just over an hour. Um, I don't know if that's equivalent of, of of doing an easy run. Probably not, but I thought it was better than nothing. But yeah, felt pretty good about it. So mentally thinking, okay, this is good. Maybe I will run tomorrow. Anyway, Wednesday came along and uh, I ended up doing another 20k uh, bike ride, which I thought was okay. Actually bothered to do a few little uh, heel raises and stuff. But I got a bit distracted that day because I was in a TV show that came out on ITV that night. So I wanted to do a little bit of promotion on that fact. Uh, ITV three-part drama called Stonehouse starring Matthew McFadden that uh, I'm in two scenes on. Anyway, that's on ITVX now, ITV Hub, whatever it is. So do check that out. Might do a separate video on that, non-running related. Thursday, um, so at this point I was kind of walking about normally. Uh, legs felt pretty good. Yeah, at this point... I lost a bit of confidence about going out for a run and I was just thinking, oh, I'm going to go out and I'm going to hurt myself and set myself back more weeks. Anyway, I had a busy day. I had to go into central London for a read through uh, and then I had a, a self tape come in that I had to actually prep for, you know, sort of uh, learn the lines and kind of work out different ways of doing it. And then so I got back and then filmed that and edited that. Um, so the only thing I actually did then was a bike, a bike ride of about five and a half kilometers, um, which was, yeah, picking my daughter up, bringing her home on the bike, going to gymnastics and then going, you know, getting her afterwards. So again, no running, just, uh, logistics. 
getting a bit nervous at this point how much fitness I've lost. Then Friday came along, I had a Zoom read about 5 p.m. that I had to read some scripts for and look up some pronunciations. It's a bit knackered from the day before. Uh, I was clearly too tired to cut my hair as well. So another rest day. You hear that? Disappointing, you could say. So then we came to Saturday. Um, we took the girls to the Transport Museum in London. Uh, a bit of a knackering day. You end up walking around quite a lot. Thought I might do the run when I got back. Unfortunately, it was absolutely chucking it down. So I just sacked it off. You get into a bit of a vicious cycle, don't you? Vicious cycle, vicious circle. Um, anyway, didn't run. So Sunday came along. Today for me, yesterday for you. Whoa. What? It... Huh? What? Yeah, did it actually managed to get out the door. There was a little bit of rain in the afternoon, but just it sort of eased off. There was a little bit of a trickle, but the sun was out. So I uh, got my gear on, went out, went to the communal bins uh, to throw some rubbish away, not to you know look for food scraps. Although there is a cost of living crisis, you may be aware. The minute I went up the road and started the watch, it started chucking it down and it got worse, worse and worse. Let's have a little look at some more of that run. Massively underestimated how cold I would be. I actually got some running gloves for Christmas. Uh, so, if I start wearing those, maybe I'll start going for the tights uh, on the legs. Never going in for that, but uh, maybe it's time. Oh my goodness. Right, so that's 5k I've done. Nice easy pace. I kind of uh, slowed down a bit to like 6.20 pace uh, per kilometre. Because my heart rate was getting a bit higher on this little bit with a little bit of a hill. But generally I, I kept my route quite flat. I just did the route I do when I'm doing intervals. Um, as you can see, uh, the weather is atrocious, but I'm very happy that I've been out for a run, no problems. Legs felt a little bit stiff maybe, uh, just so they're not used to it anymore. But um, I've probably lost some fitness, but hopefully I'll get it back soon. I might have to rethink the marathon goals for Manchester. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go in and... <laughs> dry off and warm up. Yeah, so there we have it, like a, like a drowned rat. But feeling pretty good to have got the run done. Um, so a few hours after that run, my legs do feel a bit like I've run a lot further than five kilometers, but yeah, three and a half weeks without running, um, I guess your legs are gonna fall out of the habit of it. So yeah, I've done five kilometers, which is great. Uh, but I should have done 55 kilometres. You know, I've done 60 odd kilometres on the bike. But, um, yeah, does that count? I don't know. Obviously helps aerobically, but you're not getting the, uh, the musculoskeletal uh, benefits. Going into the next week, it's supposed to be uh, 61 kilometres. Um, I'm pretty much not going to run that. But, yeah, I'm going to... Let's see how I get on. I've got a busy week. I'm doing some live performances. Okay, well, I hope that was an interesting little insight into my um, slightly disastrous first week of my very ambitious sub three and a half hour marathon training plan. But yeah, we'll just see how we go. I think I'm going to do some stretching now and then I'm going to, you know, well, edit this. <laughs>
<laughs> the magic of television. Um, thanks a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, yeah, thanks. And I'll see you again.